Hi, this is Karen, and I'm stopping by with another YouTube video because I've done sessions with clients for about 14 years now where they come and do a table session for massage, energy, and wellness. And I've noted with the clients that they've had a large amount of cyst all around the clavicle, around the breast area, and underneath the arms. And I've pointed this out for people so that they could become aware of the fact that what they're eating actually really matters. I've been plant-based with a few dips in and out for 33 years. And I've heard all the arguments pro and for being a plant-based person. But I'll tell you that when it comes to being out in the heat and humidity like I am today, the detoxification actually feels really good. The heat that's moving the mucus through the body that we naturally make as a protective coating or what you might know as cholesterol. You might be going to a doctor and the doctor may be giving you some sort of a medication so that you can manage your cholesterol or a medication so that you can manage your high blood pressure. When you change your diet, not only do you no longer need to have a high blood pressure medication, you no longer need to have a cholesterol medication because both of those two symptoms are actually coming to the rescue to tell you what you're eating isn't working for you. And the same thing is true when you start to make a lot of cysts around the breast area, close to the nipple, around your clavicle, under your arms, and it starts to show up as a feeling almost like gristle on meat around your hip area. If you really feel across the bone with your two fingers, you're going to feel it kind of bumpy and like gristle. Now why is that important? Well it's really important because Dr. Brownstein actually broke down that we have a cyst that eventually will form a nodule if it's bad and then we also have a nodule that will turn into a tumor. So now let's just say that we have cysts that are forming in the liver, in the esophagus, in the stomach, in the gut and they're becoming nodules because we're eating wheat, we're eating dairy, we're eating lots of cheese, we're eating sandwiches and pizzas and ice cream and all the things that we see people eating in the standard American diet. Those cysts are starting to become more and more mucus filled as you add more and more starch to your body, brown potatoes, white and brown rice, yams, all kinds of starchy foods. Now you're starting to congest and congeal those cysts that are becoming hardened nodules and after a period of time those nodules are going to become tumors. Now those tumors are going to form up inside your brain and then you're going to end up having a lot of problems like headaches, migraines, stomach aches. You're going to have um, discolored skin, rashes, bowel problems, your thyroid's going to start working wrong and all these problems are going to add up to you having a lot more of a headache than you really want to have. It ends up causing a lot of people to end up having a stroke that's related to an aneurysm in the brain. And once that happens, you're going to end up on an operating table most of the time having a part of your brain removed. And once that happens, you have an inability to have impulse control. Once you lose that, you end up becoming disabled, living in assisted living, and all of that could be prevented. The same thing with dementia and Alzheimer's most of the time. Diabetes, it's non-IDDM lupus and everything else by simply changing your diet to a very clarifying, mucus-free, wheat-free, plant-based diet. So that's a really good tip for you today. We want to prevent brain tumors if we can, prevent many of these diseases that people are suffering from, and if you're already suffering because you didn't have this knowledge, end up reversing them. So that's it for today. I hope this has been a great tip for you and I invite you to peruse my blog where I have more insightful information and my website at naturallywithkaren.com. Thank you.